Hi everybody! This is Media and Information Literacy and I'm your teacher, Ma'am Mary Lee. And our topic for today is all about the opportunities, challenges, and power of media and information. Let us start with opportunity. So opportunity is a set of circumstances that makes it possible to do something. For example, you have the opportunity to get education or an opportunity to represent Digo City in a national event or the Palarong Pambansa or you are given the opportunity to represent the Philippines in an international event. So that is opportunity. But now, we are going to talk about the opportunity that revolves around the media and information. So, there are four opportunities here in economy, education, social, and political. Let's start with economy. So, in the economy, media and information entities such as the news industry like ABS-CBN, GMA, CNN, Manila Bulletin, and Philippine uh, Inqu or Daily Inquirer, they provide information and monitoring to the economic policy development process by providing us, what? News and updates. So they help to the development of our economy, especially in terms of good governance. And Investors also monitor the media for them to decide what is best for their business. So, what do people usually buy? Ano ba yung binibili natin? Mga pagkain, mga goods, outfit, OOTD, home appliances, and the like. What do people like to watch when it comes to movies? Ano ba yung mga film na gustong panoorin? Anong genre? Horror, romantic comedy, and the like. And where can the businessmen post their advertisement? So, as you can see here, the news industry, film production, entertainment programs, print, broadcast media, internet, advertising, and public relations, all of these play a part in our economy because it involves money, industry, and trade. Next is, in the education Media and information have made a radical impact as, uh, let us read, that learning has never been easier and at the same time more complicated than it is today in the age of media and information. So why is it that media and information have made a radical impact? So as an example, video. So video has become a tool for educational representation just like how you are watching this recorded lecture right now so um, video of course is a media and we have been using this or I as a teacher have been using video to connect with you right and another example is the multimedia the multimedia has been used also in learning so we have tackled this previously multimedia is a form of communication that combines different content um, uh, different content forms such as text audio video images and animation now in uh, social uh, opportunity Media of today is playing an outstanding role in creating and shaping of public opinion and strengthening of society. So the best example here is the social networking site. Uh, the social networking sites allow users to connect to other people. In social media, we can share our experiences and it can actually inspire other people depending on our purpose. And because people are using social media such as Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, Google+, uh, we have now the opportunity to access data just by searching and the results will be found already. And developers are always innovating and making new apps and software so 
new apps are still in the making for socialization, maybe even better than Facebook and Instagram or Twitter. And as in another opportunity, we can also promote new products or services on social media to boost our sales. This way, people will find it easy also to buy something they used or they need pala. They need because it is online and when we buy and sell online, it's easier. Next is the political opportunity. So candidates and their supporters constantly post their views on Facebook and Twitter. Each party has its own pages from which it broadcasts propaganda and requests for donations. So um, candidates or political candidates now can always reach their um, potential um ang tawag dito potential ang tawag dito voters in the near future pag may election na so it allows the politicians to communicate faster and reach citizen in a more targeted manner dati nung wala pang social media they used to go um house to house or the uh, candidates and national candidates will go for if they are from Luzon they will travel to Mindanao but now it made um uh, for them it is easier na because of social media and like before news uh, news about yung mga balita about politics come out how uh, how many days later in the newspaper matagal pa nating mababasa yung mga balita about politics but today in a matter of uh, in a matter of seconds we can already read the news via breaking news or flash report in on Facebook. So, it's very quick. And the political candidates can use it on their uh, advantage when uh, during uh, the campaign. And one of the best example is uh, I got the picture of Pasig Mayor Vico Soto because he... Uh, became popular uh, on social media because he used the social media to reach out with more people to show his accomplishments and whatever he is doing. So he used the Facebook on his advantage. And also, as a local example here, our mayor, um, DQ City Mayor Joseph Cagas, he also has his Facebook account and Facebook pages so that he uh, he can um, promote or he can update the people of Digo City about the programs and what is he doing, his plans for Digo City. Alright, now let's go to the challenges. We're done with the opportunities. Now let's go to the challenges here. We have here main uh, four main challenges of media and information. So illegal content is any type of content that could be damaging to young and very young people. And then, then the cyber crime um, is a criminal activity or a crime that involves the internet. And the copyright infringement is the use of works protected by copyright law without permission. You use you use the works of other people without their permission that is copyright infringement and then identity theft uh, the use of someone else's identity to gain financial advantage so these four challenges i have tackled and elaborated it in a different video um i will put the link below so that you can watch it the title is legal ethical and societal issues in media and information all right Let's go to the power. So why is it that mass media is powerful? So the mass media is powerful because audiences tend to trust them all the time. Whatever we see or hear from the mass media, we tend to uh, trust and believe them um, quickly, instantly, without even asking if it's true or not because we trust them so this is one example sometimes um we tend to 
believe fake news also so this is one example of fake news so uh, saint john paul ii they photoshopped saint john paul ii together with paris hilton but the truth uh, on the on the left side there are two original different original pictures and it was photoshopped to make it like they're together okay so that is fake and sometimes if you do not know things like this if you do not research enough or you just tend to quickly um, believe then you're very prone to believing the fake news. That is why we need to be literate in media and information so that um, malikayan nato na mutuo sa mga, just like this, mga fake news. So, today our life will remain incomplete without media for sure because it has been a part of our life and we are used to it already. We use internet, we watch TV, we still listen to radio and podcast we watch movies people still read newspaper and magazines and we use mobile phones and we play video games so right media provides us access to information all over the world and now i personally i cannot imagine myself if there's no social media or any or media any media at all I, I cannot imagine myself not watching TV or series or films because it is it has been already a part of uh, our lives now. I'm sure that you cannot also imagine life without mobile phone or um, what we're doing right now in education because of COVID-19 pandemic, bawal ang face-to-face -face classes. So uh, it is really important to innovate or make um make use of the resources that we have and we are very very lucky that in our generation today we have technology and innovations that we can use especially in education that is why kanina it is said that media and information has um brought radical impact to education because it helped us a lot and there are a lot of advantages especially if we use it properly and to our benefit so that's it for our lesson for today and thank you for listening and see you again next time thank you